All right, this is going to be kind of a crap video. Uh, just experimenting with different tubes on this uh, basement that I just serviced. Uh, I thought I'd just let you look over my shoulder and kind of get a sense of what I'm doing here. Um, I didn't have any 12AY7s, which is what this calls for in the first two positions. Uh, I do have a lot of 12AV7s, though, a lot of NOS ones, uh, which are almost identical in terms of... Uh, gain factor although they do differ in in some other ways uh transconductance being one of them uh, but we're just gonna uh, kind of tube roll here and see what we can come up with um, i've already noticed that uh the amp is a hell of a lot cleaner um with these av7s and v1 and v2 i did have when i first made my video i did have a uh, 12ax7 in v1 and i had a 12au7 in v2 which is lower uh, gain factor so um, you know one of them is kind of coming down and the other one's coming up um, but if you recall later on I did play this strat with um, the uh, with a 12 a v7 and v1 position and then a 12 a u7 in the v2 position um, I actually should have stipulated that on my previous video that I had to substitute 12 a u instead of the 12 a y and then later on I realized hey I've got a bunch of these 12 a v's so um, we're going to use these in these two in the first two positions, the 12 AV, and just kind of get a sense of, you know, what it sounds like. It did clean the amp up really considerably. just a little bit so we don't uh, risk the speakers. camera mic again because I was having some problems with my other setup anyway and I didn't want to bother with 
trying to figure that out while I'm while I'm trying to get this ready for the customer to take home. So I thought I would just use uh, my old method. And I've actually dialed down the gain on that internal. That's why I'm yelling at you. I've actually dialed down that gain, so uh, hopefully it won't compress quite as much. Okay, now we've changed the V1 tube uh, to a 12AX7 uh, Bugle Boy by Amperex. The uh, 12AV7s that I put in here were new old stock Sylvanias, by the way, both of them. Okay, let's back it off just a little bit. We'll go back down to about 8 where we were before. expect fireworks here. <laughs>
fireworks. I mean, this thing is just freaking cooking. <laughs> I don't know what it's coming across like on that camera. Probably sounds like shit, really, compared to, you know, a decent mic setup, but, uh, yeah, this thing, you know, I decided to let you guys see what I was doing with this. The 12 AV7, of course, keeps the amp a lot cleaner and does sound great. Uh, and I think uh, a lot of the bad tone of, of my initial um, video came from my mic setup because I'm still kind of figuring that crap out and also because of uh, that 12 AU7 in that second stage I think was uh, was a little underpowered it wasn't really driving through um, uh, signal through the uh, the tone stack like it should have so all right here's some more tubes we're going to try in our tube rolling venture here uh, I have an RCA 7025 this is um, this is a later run of the RCA 7025 you can see it's after they changed their logo I have a GE uh, 12AX7 and this one is labeled Wurlitzer because it came out of a Wurlitzer organ that was hardly ever played and it's a good real good tube uh, this is a an RCA uh, 12 AX7 um, ECC 83, but look at this, it's Great Britain made. So this is actually from the Mullard factory. So this would be a good chance to see a, a Mullard uh, RCA 7025, a GE 12 AX7, and also let's see what else, uh, Amperex Bugle Boy that we've already tried. So since we're already in Europe with the Amperex, let's go ahead and pop this RCA uh, 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 Mullard in here and see what it sounds like. Okay, I'm going to try to avoid uh, touching the tone controls very much uh, during this this sort of segment uh, when we're comparing these tubes, especially the 12AX7. So I'm just going to start out with the volume on 8, and then I'm going to go with the volume on 10, and we'll just do some licks with on both. Alright, here's what the volume on eight. feedback this close. Let's try the next 
next two. All right, next we're going to go for this GE uh, Wurlitzer labeled tube out of an old organ. And let's back the volume up to eight to start off with. Once again, I'm not touching any, any uh, tone controls. A lot tamer, I think, on, on eight right there than that molar was for sure. <laughs> got some more highs in it as well. Very nice and clear. Okay, the final tube we're going to try is an RCA 7025. I'm not sure of a date on this. Okay, here's the RCA 7025 with the volume on 8. <laughs>
that neck position is just, that's heaven. That's heaven. <laughs> that's fucking heaven. Okay, guys, let's make a game out of this. Uh, we're going to do a poll here. Um, in the comments, comment number one, if you like the Sylvania 12AV7. Comment number two, if you prefer the Amperex Bugle Boy. Comment number three, if you like the RCA 12AX7 made by Mullard. Comment number four, if you prefer the GE Wurlitzer branded. And comment number five, if you liked the RCA 7025 the best. So yeah, that concludes our video. And for those of you wondering whether 12AV7s are a good substitute for 12AY7s, I would say yes, 100%. Uh, as long as you're... As long as you're positive, your uh, power transformer can handle the excess current. Uh, there's a little bit more current, but uh, it's not enough to really, I don't think, uh, make much of a difference. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can get 12 AV7s a hell of a lot cheaper, usually, you know, $10 or under uh, for good new old stock 12 av seven. So, yeah, um, if you have uh, one of these amps or another amplifier that uses 12 AYs, go out and get yourself some 12 AVs instead and try those out.